Good evening. This week's devotions focuses on God and the government and our relationship with Him and with them. A discussion like this has to start at the very beginning where we acknowledge once again that God is the ruler over everything and everyone. Psalm 99 says, The Lord reigns, let the nations tremble, He sits enthroned between the cherubim, let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion, He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. In the fall, and therefore also as a result of the fall, man proved that we do not want to submit to God as our king. And therefore God had to send His Son into this chaotic world to, through His death and resurrection, reset the order. And after doing that, Jesus declares that all power in heaven and on earth belongs to him. He is the king of kings, the ruler of rulers, sitting at the right hand of our heavenly father, ruling as king. Part of God's reign over this world lies in the fact that he appoints authorities in all of the different levels of society, so that there can be order. Daniel writes in chapter 2 of Daniel, saying, Praise be to the name of God for ever and ever. Wisdom and power are His. He changes times and seasons. He sets up kings and deposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with Him. I thank and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we asked of you. You have made known to us the dream of the king. Romans 13 verse 1. There is no authority except that which God established. Governments are institutions that are at the disposal of God. At the disposal of God's people. And therefore we should also submit to them so that things can be orderly and in place. The ultimate goal of the government, of the authorities in our lives, is to create a space in which we are free to honor God as our King, in which God can be honored as the King. Without authorities, all people, of course including me and you, would each have done whatever we think and whatever we would like to do. Just think of a game where there are no rules, no referee, and everyone is free to do whatever he or she wants to do. Let's bring all of this to the reality of 2020 with a phase 4 lockdown. In the light of the above, how should I act as a believer seeing that I am someone that lives in a relationship with my Heavenly Father, but I am also submitting to the government? How should I keep perspective on what the authorities are doing or not doing? How should I understand all of the things that they are doing and even more difficult, how should I obey that? What should I do when others, and sometimes myself included, start not to obey what they are doing, what they are prescribing. We will, God willing, consider these issues in the next week, in the next discussions that we'll have, building up to Sunday's preaching of the Word. The starting point that I need to affirm or reaffirm from God's Word by faith is that all authorities in this world is established by God Himself. For that I need open ears, I need open eyes, I need a spirit and a mind that is willing to submit to what God teaches us. For that I need the work of the Holy Spirit in me. And that's why this conversation about the authorities has to start with prayer. We as Christians should not fall into the common way of thinking and speaking about the government and about authorities, the negative rhetoric that you so regularly find, the building up of suspicion towards figures of authority. 
our thinking and our discussions should be about authority should be different from that which we find in the world. Paul talks to the believers in Rome about their relationship with the authorities, but he only does that after speaking to them in the first eight chapters of the book about their salvation in Jesus Christ. And then he says, in view of the mercy of God. That's the departure point. In view of the mercy of God. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God will, what God's will is, His good and pleasing and perfect will. So think about it in this term, in these terms, in the terms of your relationship with God. The authorities are established by God. They are established by the one who rules himself through Jesus Christ. Good evening.